this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while, and that is to see the usability of a pretty much ancient and slow, at least by benchmarks, original single core Atom EPC. I've had this EPC from all the way back in the day when they were brand new. It is a 10,000 HE. It uses the N280, which is pretty much just like the N270, which I also had. And for some reason, I upgraded, even though there's almost no performance difference besides slightly faster front side bus. But uh, back in the day, even a lot of reviewers, professional review sites, will say these things were good for a little bit of basic computing, but were you know, pretty terrible when it came to media and streaming and things like that. Well, I would like to show that that's possibly not the case. Uh, I still use this as a backup laptop. I take it out to oil rigs with me. I have a main laptop that I use, but I store this just in case my main laptop breaks. Um, because I still think it is, you know, potentially usable. But we're going to check and see in 2016 if you work within the limitations of it, if it's still, you know, a viable computer. So let's begin. Let's start it up. See how quick it starts up. Now, it does have 2 gigs of RAM installed and an original Intel X25 SSD, which is one of the first consumer SSDs. It has not been refreshed. I bought it all the way back then when it was very first released. And uh, it has been used a ton. I went through uh, college with this thing, by the way. It's my only computer. The last 60 credit hours, all my classes were done on this little EPC. All right, there you see it starts up. Let's give it a second, do its thing. I hope there's no updates or anything like that to mess with it. Okay. Use an external mouse because I hate trackpads on anything. Open up a video I took in Tokyo. Just skip around to show that, you know, there doesn't seem to be any problems there. It's fairly quick. Let's open up some kind of PDF, about a 6 meg PDF, seismic data, research, looks like, it's oil industry type of stuff, it opens up pretty quickly, um, no problems there, open up a video off the hard drive, now let's uh, open up Chrome, that's what most people are going to use these things for, right? Now let's go to Reddit, very popular website, of course. Let's go to the GIF or GIF section. Let's open up something that I've not clicked on before. Let's see what this is. Okay, that's pretty freaky, isn't it? But, you know, it popped right up. It's working very smoothly, as you can see. I'm not having issues. We are on Wi Fi. Um, Walking a wire between two hot air balloons. See that instantly came up. Okay. So you see, you know, that looks pretty good. So browsing a typical website, even with some uh, embedded media, it's fine. Now let's go to what's well, Facebook, right? Okay. There we go. And what is this? It's like a video. Alright. Yeah, it's like some sort of martial art video thing, kids. And that's playing fine. Pause, scrolling through Facebook. Oh, there's some old Japanese class stuff. And another video. Okay. Alright, I don't really know what that is. Pictures of dogs, of course. Alright, you know, so Facebook seems to be fine. Alright, now let's uh, stress this thing a little more. Let's try to get it to choke. YouTube streaming, which is supposed to kill these things. So this has a terrible 
what the Intel GMA just graphics process, you know, integrated graphics. Let's do um, X Men Apocalypse official trailer. All right. Let's full screen this. Oh my gosh, it's playing, streaming the trailer. I could feel all this death. We're going to start up instantly. It was just a dream. Looks like it's really hunting for focus. That's annoying, isn't it? My camera. Skip ahead. There we go. But I am here now. I'm here for you. Wherever this being was, he always had four followers he would imbue with power. Like the four horsemen of the apocalypse. He got that one from the Bible. Or the Bible got it from him. Let's see if we're. 480p. Oh God. Now, if I go to 720, it will choke without a doubt. However, the thing is, the resolution of this, I think it's like 1024 by, what, like 6 or 800? So, 720p or above on this thing is essentially a waste for the most part. You're not, it's higher than the native resolution of the screen, so you're not really taking advantage of the higher resolution. All right, so now we're getting a, I think, I can see you probably can, a severe drop in frame rate. That's why I'm here, to fight. Yeah, that, that is not watchable to me. It might seem okay on the screen, but here's something I want to show you. It's going down to 360p. When you have a small 10-inch screen like this and a lower native resolution, lower resolutions actually just don't look that bad. Then don't. There, that's 360p. You know what? It's totally watchable when you consider what this thing is. It looks completely fine. And hopefully you can kind of see that. You know, it's a video of a video, right? But there you get. I'm sure it's getting close to max frame rate here. And it's completely fine. On YouTube. All right. Now, let's go test this awful keyboard. <laughs> Alright, and I am, this is the worst typing position I could possibly think of. I'm literally sticking one hand through the tripod thing, and I'm sitting on the ground, because uh, my desk is just full, I don't have a good spot. Um, so we're going to try, and I have not typed significantly on this thing in forever. Okay. This is no no takes, no redos here, so let's let's see. Oh goodness, what did I just do? Well, that's I'm not sure what I'm not sure what I'm hitting. I think I have the trackpad still on. I cannot remember how to turn it off. Alright, let me start over. Why there? It is really awful. Why won't work in this type of position? My hand is fixing to give out just through this type of position. <laughs> oh, what I get? Perfect, sixty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> that is really bad, but uh, but I mean, 
literally terrible typing position. I, I wish I could show you this. And I don't practice on this thing. Uh, I bet I could hit easily into the 80s with a proper pop typing position and give me, you know, a half hour, a half hour of typing to get reacquainted with it. Still a bad keyboard, but completely functional. I mean, 69 words per minute, sitting on the ground, hunched over with my hand through a tripod leg. So it could be worse, right? All right, uh, what else? So now I'm going to hook up uh, a, yeah, what am I going to do? I'm going to hook up, I got my external hard drive with some movies. Let's see here. Why did I not hook this up already? Okay. Hopefully it will recognize it. And let's see. Is it going to please? Come on. There we go. Okay. So all my movies. Let's uh Action movie. What a sort by. See, I want a decent, you know, quality file size here. Uh, just cliffhanger. What is this? Properties. Okay, it's a two point one seven gigabyte. Let's see what the. Ah, it doesn't have any. Like bitrate data, but decent quality. You know, file size for. A ripped film. Oh, perfect. Mm. That's good. That's a big my quality rip. That I did from my cliffhanger laser disc that I own. It's not going to work. That's a great scene, by the way. Kind of an underrated, corny action movie. This scene is wonderful. Right, let's see if we got a higher bit rate. Or higher file size, which I'm guessing is two and a half gigs. And a swordfish. Well, it's 3.2 gigs. Alright, let's see. Why is it not giving me bit rate data? Hmm. I'm not sure. I guess she looked into that. Okay. Well, let's try something. Let her go, let her go. Let us. Let's see how the two instances. Oh, that's the famous thing, right? There we go. Let's try to open up Fight Club with Action Player at the same time. This will have to kill this thing, but... Oh yeah, look at it. Struggling. Oh, oh, uh oh. I'm spoiling. Oh goodness. And actually, Swordfish is still playing in the background. Terribly. But the you know, CPU is prioritizing what is up front. Yeah, I mean, it's... Let's go back to... Let's see if we can do this. Oh, yeah, it's locked up. But, I mean, I was trying to kill it there. So, understandable. Yeah, so what else can we do here? Um, where is Anki? This is my Japanese language program. Let's see if it still works here when I use. No, I would not like to download that now. Uh, JPT Kramer. It's not going to have any audio, I think, in this specific file. Japanese corpus. I don't even know what these decks are. This is old stuff here. 
optimizing. No, do not do that. Not much processing. Oh, it could. This is such. A, okay, good. I'm glad it did not try to sync the deck online. But yeah. So I mean that is uh. Let me see here. All programs. Let me open up. Where's? I'm surprised Open Office isn't. Um. Right at the forefront. All right, here's opening up Open Office. All right, that was fairly quick. I mean, yeah. So, hope that gives you an idea that these things are still completely functional. I mean, uh, Facebook was fairly quick and response responsive. Played Facebook videos with relative ease. Uh, YouTube was uh, decent as long as you played it at a lower resolution. But the lower resolution was actually it's pretty acceptable considering the low native resolution of this screen. Uh, you saw Reddit was fine. You saw videos off the hard drive was fine. You saw that it's fairly snappy at navigating the uh, file system there. Um, so, yeah. These are completely functional computers. The key is you just have to know the limitations. You have to really strip down the operating system and you have to uh, one of the keys for video playback is to run opti optimized players and finding a really good codec pack, a real optimized, efficient codec for uh, the video playback. You might not get all the maybe the fancy features. It might not be the absolute best in terms of picture quality and whatnot. But that's, if you're not buying these for a home theater, you know. The epic home theater machine, right? These things are super cheap. Or well, today, they're incredibly cheap. They don't really even make them anymore, I guess. Uh, not the single cores. Now, that said, okay, let's say you're incredibly poor. We've all been there, right? And you want to go online, get you a used computer. Just literally have barely any money, but you've got to have a laptop. I went online real quick and tried to get a general idea, general idea of what decent ones of these go for like off eBay buy it now prices and round still 50 60 bucks now you might say oh, 50 60 bucks seems like a functional computer small uh, relatively lightweight I mean it's for a sm as small of a screen as it is it's heavy in today's terms but it's still overall pretty small and compact they actually get very good battery life uh, I used to get seven to eight hours realistically, like with real world use on these things. That means Wi-Fi on everything. Um, and you can get batteries. I saw batteries are very cheap. Uh, new new batteries. However, for 50 to 60 bucks, even though I love it, and if you get one of these things for cheaper, I'd say maybe go for it. But I would actually say not go for these. If you have one, get one for free, a hand-me-down, whatever, great. It's a completely usable computer. The reason I would say that I would not go out and buy one if you're looking for a cheap portable computer for even 50, 60 bucks is that simply there are other computers in that same price range used, namely old like X60, X61 ThinkPads, which were around uh, like 11, 11 and a half inch uh, ThinkPads that had uh, Core 2 Duo processors that you can get for nearly the same price used, you can get about 70 ish bucks. And they are superior in just about every way. They're much, much more powerful than these. Uh, not quite as good of battery life, but they're even easier to work on, more parts available, things like that. However, if you had, did get stuck with one of these, or this was your only computer, you found it somewhere in a the thrift store for basically a throwaway price. I have seen things like this where they would basically put them in a bin for like 10 bucks. Then, yeah, if you're in a pinch, th these things are completely usable. So it's, uh, it shows just if you work within the limitations, what you can really still get out of some really old and uh, technically very slow hardware. All right, thanks for watching. Later.